Oh, just barely stays in bounds for Justin Bowman to scoop up for the heels. Bowman fires and a nice save by Gephardt. Nice save down low. Almost have to concentrate on those low shots. Now we have to see if Syracuse can answer back and, and uh, tighten this game up a little bit again. Nice, nice move there. Alexander with a shot and a goal for the Cuse. Nice move there, great dodge. It's a face dodge, he changed hands, and he got the shot off just a second before the slide came out. And Alexander. Great play by Matt Alexander. Freshman midfielder from Syracuse. Watch this face dodge, Steve. There it is, over the top. He changes hands now and shoots. And there's the slide, just a second too late. 13.57 to go here in the second quarter. Lacuse has cut it to one, four to three. Syracuse keeps answering back, Steve, don't they? They certainly do, and this is any indication. This is similar in some ways to the 93 championship game won by Syracuse, 13-12, as Gephardt makes a save and makes the clear out to Toby Price. And now here's uh, Syracuse coming down on transition. Price passes off, a good low shot. Knocked away by Brown, but Syracuse will maintain control. Those big stick guys, those defensemen, love to take shots. Fotopoulos, number 27. Syracuse doing a great job of backing it up and, and uh, maintaining possession. Morrissey, he's a great left-hander. Watch his left-handed shot. If he gets an opportunity, scores! Nice slide from, uh, from Carolina that time. We're tied at four on Jim Morrissey's 35th goal of the year. Defender was beat behind the goal, and uh, Carolina failed to come with a slide. That Syracuse shot ties it up. Here he is. See how no slide comes down. He can just come around and shoot. Great bounce shot in the opposite corner. Effortless and a natural left-hander. Morrissey, 105 career goals now for the Orange men. We're tied at four. That was a rare breakdown for the Carolina defense. And Syracuse battling for possession of that faceoff. This should come up uh, as Casey's ball. It does. Picked up by Harvey Sacklin. They want to get it to a short stick if they can. Failure to advance rule there. That's a 10 second rule. They have to bring the ball across the midline uh, within 10 seconds from when they first gain possession. And Carolina tries to regain the lead. 13 minutes to go in the first half. Justin Bowman. That second midfield unit of Myers, Sanders, and Bowman has certainly seen a lot of action so far here. Brendan Carey in front. A great that's opportunity for Bowman. He scores! Okay. Justin Bowman. Great shot. He really cranked it up. But you gotta be, uh, you got to be brave to step in front of one of those shots, whether you're a defender or a goalie. Justin Bowman now with 18 goals on the year, the freshman. Carolina is 10-0 on grass this year, Steve Sheffield. They were certainly happy that they didn't end up with the quarterfinal twin build out of Hopkins on the turf down in Maryland tomorrow. Well, they look like they enjoy playing on the grass. They look like they uh, are very successful at going after ground balls, and, and uh, it looks like the, the grass field's been good to them. Toby Price controls, gets it off the long stick of Rourke Denver. Denver from Palo Alto, California. Here's Denver. Low shot, save. The heels look to clear out. Good individual move there by Peter Murphy. Carolina comes down on offense now. Deering looking. Deering has been kept pretty well in check by six foot six close defenseman Mike Smiley of Syracuse. He's a big guy. It helps, to, it helps to have that height defensively, too, because you can go over the top, you can go over the head and check. Uh, it gives you certain advantages that a smaller guy doesn't have. The Myers-Sanders-Bowman midfield has been very effective so far here for Carolina. Low shot and wide. Carolina's setting up a lot of isolations. That was Sanders. Taking guys out, moving everybody else out of the way and just letting them go one-on-one. -on -one. Low shot taken by Deering and a... Coming away really, with it is Gephardt. That was really off the face of the goal. It was kind of to the side of the goal. Gephardt does a great job of outletting the ball. Gets uh, Cuse into a transition phase here. Kavavit has one goal here already today. Kavavit on the move. Here comes the slide. 
Good close D by Fox. Carolina doing a great job of team defense there. A lot of communication down there. You can see these players talking to each other, calling things out. Casey Powell, he's always dangerous. A preseason All-American has made the transition from attack to midfield. Here we see Casey Powell, one of the more athletic players on the field. Passes off, knocked away nicely there by Wade. Kind of a misconnection there. Pretty good play, though, in the back line by right. Carolina. That was Peter Murphy who got his stick on it. Ball goes out of bounds off Carolina, so Syracuse retains possession now. 10.59 to go in the second quarter. 5-4 North Carolina leading Syracuse here at Rutgers Stadium. An overcast afternoon in Piscataway. Carcaterra looking to make something happen for the Cuse. Doug Jackson. If you watch Syracuse off the ball, you'll notice There'll be a lot of movement and cutting, and, and nobody's really standing around. Jackson in front. Oh, he shoots it over. And a missed opportunity there for Syracuse. Right in front. He's shaking his head. He can't believe it. He's Doug right in front Jackson, of the goal. Jackson, the junior attackman. Like to have that one back. Would he ever? He comes around. Right one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. And it's off goal. And off the live play, Carcaterra fell down and was picked up by the Carolina defense. And here comes Jude Collins coming out for the heels. Collins, known as a face-off specialist. He has two goals already here today. 16 on the year for the Carolina Tar Heels. Carolina being very uh, very patient, letting their offense settle. Matt Coutilla covering Collins. Centering pass in front, oh, a scoop boy. shot by. That was some feet into the crease, and that was some shot off. Rob it. Tobin. Deering will make his move. Deering has been kept in check. Trying to come up high and maybe do an inside roll. Defense does a nice job of shutting that down. Nothing for Spencer Deering. Smiley knocks it down, picked up. Good Jeff job Hart there. comes up with it. Good what? job there by, by Syracuse on the slide, the defensive slide. Gephardt outlets it. Syracuse, Syracuse on the on move. There. Matt Coutilla. Katia spins, Katia fires and scores! Matt Katia, we're tied at five. Real good job there. That was, that was an inside roll shot. Forced around strong, came back with his weak hand, and uh, really nice ball placement there. I, I, would, I would think I, if I saw that over again, I would think the ball was right between the goalie stick and the post. Katia. Not a lot of room. The freshman, 12th goal of the year. And the Syracuse Orange men. He Not. drives this way, and he'll come back right. There it is. Shot right over his shoulder, stick side. And that's six by six, and that a good target, and you're that close. Off the face, the heels control. Mike Meyer. Sanders with a low shot, oh. a score! Jason Sanders! And Carolina comes right back, take a 6-5 lead. Carolina answers back quick, that was a great shot. A lot of heat on that one. Jason Sanders now with 20 goals on the year. 6'1", 215-pound senior. That was a great shot. That was, uh, you know, from the midfield, uh, goalie probably was screened, didn't get a chance to see it all the way, and that ball had a lot of heat on it. Exciting lacrosse action here on the Comcast Network. Steve Tober, Steve Schofi with Chris Norton and Doug also from joining us on statistics here from Rutgers Stadium. And we have a good one. Syracuse now controlling the faceoff and, and uh, coming down and running their settled offense. Matt Alexander has a goal already today, fires low. Brown able to come up with it, and here come the heels. That was like a foot save and a beauty. Beautiful. Here comes Justin Bowman. Unsettled situation. Pass there it in is, front, one -on -one. shot, score for the heels. Carolina did a great job there bringing the ball down in an unsettled situation, four on three situation. They just moved the ball around until they found the open man. Lefty Mark Phillips with the goal. And it was one on one with the goalie. Your uh, typical four on three fast break situation right there. Seven, five, Carolina. Just kind of done to perfection, that's all, Steve. 
UNC with a 10-7 advantage on shots this quarter. We still have 8.25 to go. Carolina leads 7-5. to five. I think the biggest lead Carolina's had so far today is two goals, right, Steve? And, and, and uh, Syracuse does tend to answer back and keep the game, keep it a tight game. Toby Price makes his move, now throws behind the net. Carcaterra. Carcaterra with a good close D by Ryan Cohart. Carcaterra not really uh, able to get up high enough to execute an inside roll there. Ira Vanderpool, number 44 now on for the Qs. Vanderpool. Again, one-on-one -on -one play. Good opportunity, and it's just wide. Defender falls down, the slide comes a little late, but the shot was off goal. Vanderpool, 6'3", 205-pound sophomore. <laughs> Syracuse uh, maintains possession because they backed up the goal. There's the shot, just off goal. The slide comes just a little bit too late. 7.38 to go in the second quarter, 7-5 Carolina. Morrissey has one goal already. Kavavit, they're the one-two combination for Syracuse. Kavavit. Syracuse doing what they have to do here, keeping the ball in their offensive end. And a timeout. We have an offside penalty. It's an illegal substitution penalty against North Carolina. And that's going to give a, that's going to give Syracuse a 32nd man up. As we see, Syracuse has won six NCAA championships, including last year, when they beat Maryland 13 to 9, and they beat Carolina in 93, 13 to 12. Syracuse with a five, a six on five advantage here, man up for 30 seconds. Forget to run their man up offense. Doug Jackson, over to Morrissey, behind to Doyle. Hughes moving the ball very well, and a score! A great shot by Paul Carcaterra. I'll tell you, Steve, that was just excellent ball movement against the rotating defense. Did a great job of uh, just moving the ball back against the rotating defense. Every time a slide came, they just moved the ball back one more player until they had an open guy and, and a great shot. And that was the most crisp passing we've seen so far here today by Syracuse. There's, and the, the, that last slide just can't get there quicker than the ball can move, and that's, uh, that's how you score goals. 7-6, Syracuse has cut the lead to one. Once again, 6.53 to go here in the first half. NCAA quarterfinals from Rutgers Stadium. Before Carolina came back and scored a couple, let's Syracuse. see if Syracuse can tie it. Fast break situation for Syracuse. Quick pass in front of the skull for the heel, excuse me, for the Qs. That ties it up. Rob Kavavik with his second goal here. Fast break situation, they convert, and that ties the game up. 7-7. Seven, seven. Here, here comes the ball down now. Passes to the open man, steps, bounce shot. Cummings with the assist, number seven. Kavavit scoring his 35th goal of the year now to tie the game at seven. This is great lacrosse. We're seeing a lot of uh, a lot of everything. We're seeing settled offense. We're seeing unsettled situations. We're seeing great team defense. We're seeing tremendous goalie play. This is a great. This is a pleasure to watch. Ball kicked back. So Syracuse tries to control and it's intercepted and picked up as a flag is thrown. We have a uh, on the head penalty or slash. That's going to be a minute penalty. Carolina coming on with a man down team. And Syracuse, Syracuse will be man up for one for one minute. John Fox assessed that penalty. That was a slashing penalty. One minute now. Syracuse has a, a man up situation. Matty Doyle, Morrissey now with it. Morrissey. The senior attackman has a goal already. Here's Doyle. Same man up play. Carolina does a little better job this time defensing it. Low shot and a goal by Casey Powell. And they move to their second option, and sure enough, they score again. 
you know, Steve, you don't know how many times in a game you're going to have the opportunity to go man up, and, and converting on them is, is extremely important if you can convert on the majority of them. And Syracuse has picked it up here with that man up goal, take an 8-7 lead with exactly six minutes left in the second quarter. Great underhand shot there. You've seen the talents. Skipping of, the ball in. And the talents of Casey Powell. He mentioned it before with another goal for the sophomore. We're, we're on pace for a high scoring game here today, Steve. Very high paced. 8-7, and we're still in the second quarter. Six minutes left before intermission. Syracuse looks to be a little more aggressive out there, Steve, since the start of the second quarter. Well, I'll tell you, they, they've turned it around a little bit. Now they have a loose ball push was called against Carolina. It gives Syracuse possession again. Now the ball is staying in uh, Syracuse's end of the field. Toby Price makes Face the dodge. move in close. Oh, boy. <laughs> just misses. Yeah, that was a beautiful face dodge, and I, I guarantee you he's, he's, uh, he'd like to have that one back again because that was one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Again, they were backing up the goal. Here's the face dodge right there. The defensive slips a little bit, and it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Ball just shot off goal. Casey Powell again with it. Getting it back to Carcaterra. He has a goal as well for Syracuse. Back to Matt Cotilla. Over to Morrissey. Jim Morrissey, 106 career goals now. Morrissey has a great left-handed shot. We saw it before. Hey, Syracuse really has picked up the pace uh, this quarter. They've uh, had the ball down in their offensive end quite a bit. Great behind the pa back pass there. Jason Wade. Here comes Carolina. A low shot, nice save by right Gephardt. On, right on the stick, though. Gephardt does a great job outletting it. And Carolina does a nice job of stopping the fast break. Good low shot. Brown in the crease. Great goalie Scoops play there. It up. And that shot by Ryan Cummings. Brooks Brown, 5'11", junior, comes in with a 58% save ratio on the year for the heels. Carolina now into their set of offense. Offsides. Offsides against Carolina. Here's Mike Corcoran, who is uh, an excellent NCAA official. Started as a uh, high school official in New Jersey, and he's joined on this game by Al Stadler, Tim Murray, and uh, Pete Rick Ricarda. And we have a timeout on the field with a score, Syracuse 8, Carolina 7. We'll be back with more right after this. Back at Rutgers Stadium in uh, Piscataway, Steve Tober, Steve Schofi in a, an electrifying quarterfinal contest so far. Syracuse leading 8-7. And Steve Shelfie, we've seen Syracuse take more control in this quarter. They have a 13-11 advantage in shots. Yeah, Syracuse really did what they had to do. They stepped it up now in the second quarter. First, the first quarter was all Carolina, maybe not in terms of score, but in terms of ground, controlling ground balls and having the ball down their offensive end of the field. Syracuse has done what they had to do, Steve. They they picked the pace up, and uh, and it, it's uh, this is a whale of a ball game. Syracuse has only three losses on the year about Johns Hopkins, UVA, Virginia, and Rutgers over at Yursek Field, not here at Rutgers Stadium, but at Yursek Field, the lacrosse complex. I think that this is the first time they've had lacrosse in the stadium since it's been uh, renovated and, uh, and made into this beautiful stadium that it now is. It's been open for three years now. It'll be the third football season coming up this fall for the Scarlet Knights. But today it's lacrosse and a great game on hand. The Orange men in control. Again, the ball down Syracuse's offensive end of the field, where it's been most of this uh, period. Kavovic, back to Jim Morrissey. Morrissey loves the left-handed shot, but he dishes off. Low shot, score! You know, that feed was into Matt the Kutia. crease. That feed was into the crease, and we had three Carolina defensemen or defenders close on it, and he was still able to get that shot off and score. Syracuse with its biggest lead, 9-7. There's the feed into the crease. Katia. There's the defenders closing. And he finds an opening, and turns and shoots, and, and beats the goalie. Katia's second goal, 13 on the year for Matt Katia. Roy Simmons, Jr., congratulating number 35. Syracuse, Syracuse forging ahead now, 9-7. Syracuse certainly dominating player here in the second quarter. With the Carolina held the early lead. Loose ball situation here and see who comes up with it. Again, now Syracuse controlling the ground balls. Now they have to clear it, though. Pass it back to the defense. They have to clear it. Mike Smiley, the big six foot six defenseman, gets it back to his goalie, Gephardt. Gephardt coming off 
a 21 save effort. We have another timeout on the field. Syracuse leading 9-7. And you'll look, Steve Schofie, at this tournament coming up tomorrow. A great quarterfinal matchup down at Johns Hopkins. Harvard against Virginia in one game and Johns Hopkins against Maryland in the other quarterfinal. Well, Steve, would now be a good time to uh, to uh, clue the, the viewers in about the uh, the number three whammy? <laughs> well, for the last four years, the number three seed has won the NCAA lacrosse tournament. Dick Klarman, in fact, to see on the Carolina sideline was the last top seed to win it. That's right. And uh, Virginia now is, is the holder of that uh, of that number three seed. North Carolina's 10 and 0 on grass this season, as we mentioned before, and uh, and they certainly looked to be all over it, uh, all over everything in the first quarter. Uh, Syracuse has obviously picked up the pace. They're two and four on turf. They play at Fetzer Field in Chapel Hill. Dick Clarman's team, ACC champs, and Dick Clarman, ACC Coach of the Year for the fourth time in six years. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you, I can't think of too many other, well, there's a lot of beautiful places in the country to go to college, but Chapel Hill's got to be one of the most beautiful places. I rank that along with Cornell University up in Ithaca, which is gorgeous, and University of California at San Diego, which is a wonderful campus in La Jolla, but you can't beat Chapel Hill. The Syracuse Orange has to clear the ball now. The Orangemen have spent a lot of time in the Carolina half of the field. 3.30 to go in the first half. They lead 9-7. Great job. Great oh, centering pass. Shot hits pipe. Oh, yeah. Parcatera with the firing it on there. Great job of the unsettled situation off the clear. There's excellent looks. Carolina now coming up with the ball. Wade passes back. And they're going to go settled offense. Picked up by Spencer Deering, number seven. Spencer, the junior attackman. Centering, low shot. And Carolina will maintain control on that shot off the stick of Justin Carolina has been getting an awful lot of those midfield shots out there, Steve, and they're coming in high, and I think uh, Syracuse goalie Gephardt is, is getting a read on them now. Deering back. Calling a play. To Looking Sanders. Phillips. To Meyer. Meyer Deeks. Meyer has a ball knocked away. Good close defense there. Casey Powell. Double and dump. One more. Bowman spins. Bowman spins again. Hughes very physical in front. Shot in close and a goal for the heels. There's a flag. We'll pull that back on that shot by Carey, number nine. No goal. The goal is good. The Excuse penalty the goal is, is waved good. off. Nine, eight, but the penalty is waved off as we watch the official. 2.33 to go. and. Carolina has cut the lead to 9-8. Yeah, what happened there is uh, basically he tried to dodge too many people is what happened, and he wound up getting uh, cross-checked across the neck. <laughs> and uh, and the loose ball situation there, the goal was scored. Bowman with all those spin moves, the freshman midfielder, but then...